So today I'm just going to talk to you about a few things that you should do or if you're having a problem with your Steam game. It doesn't matter what problem it is with your Steam game, maybe it's not launching, it's not you know, not loading in, not getting past the main menu, maybe stuck in a wall, something like that. Anything that's just a little bit broken, maybe you're missing a texture, something like that. So first of all, just Google the issue. It's quite simple, just go onto Google, type in your question, see if there's any other people with a similar issue, see what they did, have a go. Maybe it'll fix it, maybe it won't. But here are a few things that you should do before you go and ask your own question on the Steam forums. Because these are the things that they're going to check that you've done anyways. So it's worth a shot. So the first thing you want to do is, obviously if the game's already installed, uh, that's what we're assuming here. Uh, you just want to restart Steam or you know restart your computer. I don't want to sound like an Apple tech support guy, but it can help just to restart Steam. If you want to restart Steam, just go to up here, Steam, exit come back in try and watch the game again. Also try to make sure that you're only running one game at once, especially if you're idling Steam cards. Uh, that can break it, uh, some functions of the game, if you're running more than one game at a time. Especially with a lot of the, uh, uh, the friends, Steam friends functions. So after you've finished restarting Steam and you know all your, your games that you're running, uh, you want to validate the game cache. And you can do that just by going to your library, which is up here, uh, find the game in your list, right click on it, in properties, and come with this window here, go to local files, and at the bottom here it has verify integrity of game cache, just hit that, and there we go, that only took a second because it's a really small game, basically all this does is it looks at the files that uh, you have on your computer, and it checks if they're the same as the one that Valve has, and if they're not the same, like there's something that's missing, or something that's corrupted, it will just make you re-download those files. So especially with missing textures and stuff, this will help. This helps a lot of errors. This is always something that you should do if you're having any problems with your games. Let's give it a shot. Just be warned that sometimes it doesn't just take two seconds. This is just a really small game. If you're running something like Flight Simulator, which is say 60, 70 gigs, and you want to try and verify the integrity of the game cache, it can take like up to half an hour and you can't play other games. Well, it's doing it. So just be warned that it can take a little while. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is you want to check if your drivers are correct. So it's quite simple. You should know if you're using an AMD or an NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, but if not, just uh, type in, say, AMD to your search bar, and it'll come up with like the AMD Catalyst. And if you're running NVIDIA, just type in NVIDIA, and it'll come up with the NVIDIA drivers, drivers and stuff. So it's quite easy to know which one you're using. But if you're using like AMD drivers. Let's type in AMD drivers into Google. First link right here, and you can update it quite easily from here. So just download the newest drivers. Sometimes the older drivers don't work some, with some of the newer games. So just check if you've got the uh, the newest version of the game. And something else to note is that some sometimes if you've always been able to do something, say uh, get past a section, and then all of a sudden you know, it's just not working, the game is glitching at a particular point. Uh, it may be, be, be because of a newer update of the graphics drivers, which has actually broken the game. So from most of the websites, you can actually go back and revert to older versions of that driver uh, from, you know, a previous period of time. So you can get the older drivers back to how it was, and you can get everything working again until developers, you know, patch it up, so that's something that you should do, uh, just update your drivers, make sure they're up to the newest version. Uh, the next thing that you should do is check your antivirus. Uh, and when I mean antivirus, I'm referring to both your firewall and anything that's just running in the background. Uh, make sure that there's no computer scans running, sometimes that can break it. Uh, if you have any something like this, like McAfee does, uh, real-time scanning, that can break it. Anything that's constantly running in the background by your antivirus, looking through your files, that can break it. Just pause it for a second, pause for like 10 minutes if it works. Uh, turn off your firewall, doesn't matter what program you're using. See if you're using your antivirus, just turn it off for I don't know, a few minutes, see if, see if that fixes it. Especially for a lot of internet stuff, uh, that will fix it. Uh, and if it really comes down to it, and if you've got enough internet space, or oh, internet data, uh, just reinstall the game. And it's quite simple, just right click on it, right click on your game, and just press delete local content and that will just uninstall your game so that you can reinstall it.
Oh, this is normal. You can also access it from properties, local files, delete local game content. So either way, um, just delete it and reinstall it. If you've got the space, if it's just a small game, like why not? Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, sometimes you can end up with your game files scattered all around your computer. I've some, seen some people like that. I've got half the game on this drive and the other half of the game on this drive. It just doesn't work. Uh, so sometimes just delete it, reinstall it, it can work. Uh, so once you've done those five things, then yes, head over to the, uh, if it didn't work, head over to the, uh, the Steam community forums um, and ask them. Uh, that's usually the best place to go. Uh, sometimes the devs have their own forums of the game. Like I know Dota does, it's like dev.dota2.com. But just have a look around. Uh, Google um, issues for that game and find websites that people are using to you know, ask questions about how to fix it. And there we go. So I hope I managed to fix your game and have a good day.